ti da sha ti ti ai po foi da pai foi da mi so i do what to happy yo te ai mi ba ti e jo she fell under this very rare type of leukemia so it only happens like uh, in one out of, out of a million. Yeah. So there's no protocol on how to treat it since it's so rare. Letter N. the letter N. Just so thankful that we got to spend every second with her till her last breath we were there. If our daughter was so courageous in facing all of the Oops, the injections, every transfusion. If she was so brave because she trusted us, I realized we should be brave too. With our father. Because if he was able to sustain her, then he would be able to sustain us in Katie's passing. Bye-bye. Hold on, so Ika. Ika, hold on, so Alright, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace, man. We were saying, Okay, Lord, if you want to take her home, okay, take her home, surrender her to you. It was so difficult to say, Jesus, I love you more than Katie. As a mother, it was so difficult to say, Lord, I love you more than Katie, and if you want to take her home, okay. It was just so difficult, but you realize that Jesus is enough. We love her, but there is someone who loves you even more than us, and that's Jesus. On the day that we cremated her, we decided to make it like into a wedding. We realized that is something like a wedding. Us as her parents, when you give your child, your daughter away, you have to let go. Let go. Completely. Completely. In the same way, it was like that. Now she's gonna get married to someone who will never have any marital problems. <laughs> they won't yeah. have any father-in-law issues, mother-in-law mm -hmm. issues. It's just going to be the perfect marriage. And it may sound crazy, but if you look at it that way, it's just beautiful. It was a beautiful party. We can't imagine touching so many people in our lifetime. And like even Jesus is being mentioned in the, news. in the news. Thank you, Lord, for using her. You know, thank you for her life. She lived it fully. Like we couldn't add a day anymore to her life because it was complete. I guess as parents, we were just so proud of her. Job well done. Mission accomplished. Her daughter graduated life with flying college. If there is any lesson that we could impart or uh, give to our children, it would be Jesus. How he should be the center for life. And that could equip your child from a young age until he grows up. If you pursue Jesus every day, I guess you would have no fear of tomorrow. Or have, even death. Even death would have no sting. Yes, <laughs> <laughs>